<laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome back. We're back again. <laughs> Storm here. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Tom here. Kim here. You guys can talk. You're not pure titans, then. Oh. You're one of the nine. Which one are you? I'm the tenth. You're the tenth. Which one will be the tenth? <laughs> the stupid titans. Well, you a pure titan. <laughs> Tom. So welcome back, everyone. We're going to be watching episode 421 of Attack on Titan, also 480 on Crunchyroll. Awesome. Mm -hmm. It's getting, uh, now we really know what Aaron's intentions are, and it's not what his brother would think. You know, it's even worse. No. <laughs> it's tremendously worse. Mm -hmm. I Zika mean, supposed it to seems do all like that to... <laughs> Risha and um, Zeke are on the same page, yes. and this whole time he thought they were on... You know, they had a, a different mission and he didn't even think his father cared about him. And he really did. He had a lot of regrets. And here Aaron yes. brainwashed his dad like Grisha was the victim of Aaron. Right. Like, that's insane. He's like, are you happy now? Yeah, it's very mm -hmm. devastating. That's really sad. Mm -hmm. So shall we get into this episode? Let's yes. do it. So we're watching on Crunchyroll, 421, 480. Holy oh. crap. Yeah, he's going to murder the whole freaking and world. <gasps> it's wiped out. Uh, are you kidding me? Oh. I mean, I kind of figured wow. that's where he was going anyways, but to actually have an official, wow. Insane. That was great. That was, I mean, it's bad, but wow, well, we what an episode. Is, at least we know his true plan. <laughs> yeah, I mean, just to see it take motion and hearing like Armin and Mikasa trying to talk to each other and everything's so loud they can't even hear each other yes. like we can see the masses I was we even worried see... for them being on the, the rooftop there. I know luckily the Colossals because they're listening to the founding yeah, titan they're just, they're just organized and yeah, just marching but out. thank goodness yeah they weren't in front of them because like it's just <laughs> they would just fly over. you don't even have time to get out of the way unless you have your gear or something to move quickly because well, even that there's so much steps. stuff coming down right <laughs> Yeah, and you have these slow steps, but the Colossals are so big, they they move so, you know, a lot of distance <laughs> every Man. step. Man, and Aaron, speaking of, like, so huge, I mean, he's the, he is tremendous. He's the largest one now. Yeah, he's the founding titan. And, you know, seeing Ymir's story, I knew oh. it was bad. We did hear stories, is... and we did hear before about people eating her or something, like the family had to eat her body to gain the power or something. But to actually see it, I'm like, These that's insane. Children, the father is telling the children to eat. That's our tradition, eat their, eat their spines. And, and oh, well, you know, get Every up. a little bit of her. A spear is not going to kill you. Like, wow, you just saved my life. And I mean, like, and he still called her a slave, you know? <laughs> yeah, and he raped her many times. Like, oh, this is a good thing oh, for you. Yes. I'll bless You're, you with reward. my seed. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> man, I'll let Sick, you be huh? free first off. Oh, my God. Yeah, when he said that originally, not thinking that she was going to be a Titan, he just set her free to punish her for the pig ex escaping. Yeah, and just, she's just running, and she's just they're just pretending she's prey and just, you know. Yeah, they're hunting her. Yeah, that was yeah. awful. So you're just an evil king. And, again, it's the continuous cycle, because here we have Eldians in that story mm -hmm. that wanted to take over the world, and they did a lot, you know, like mm -hmm. with her... By their side, not even as a slave, and she was so scared and conditioned. I can't even imagine. It's easier to judge outside of like living something it, it like is. that. It is. You're but... absolutely right because she is so conditioned. Even after she turned into a titan, she still was his slave. Yeah, like, like she mm -hmm. could have. She killed off, taken, went off she, she could have taken him with no problem. You know his army. But no, she was still, she was so conditioned, she stayed with him. And she had multiple kids like how by many him. Kids? Nine and kids? Yeah, and then and she, like, sacrificed herself to save him. Like, that says a lot. I mean, not only staying Completely, there, but yes. she truly is devoted to him and thinks that she's supposed to do this. And the fact that he's like, just get up, you know, yeah, you're here. Yeah, he doesn't here, care at you know, all. Doesn't yeah. even flinch to help to her. To chop her up. And have his kids and relatives eat her. Oh, oh my God. yeah, and eat every bit. That was really... This was, was messed oh, up. I mean, this show is man. very grotesque anyways, but it's... Yeah, that's <laughs> extremely disturbing to actually see it. Um, yeah, so pure evilness here. So it was cool to see Ymir go into this, like, huge mysterious tree and then fall into the water and then have this right. odd-looking 
you know, ocean or like this like, water yeah, spinal very, creature. Very, yeah glowing and yeah it was very like, weird so what was that like was it something creature. yeah some ancient kind of demonic creature that feeds off of suffering and hate and i mean i know she probably had hate but she was so loyal to him and so broken down that she just suffered so much yeah. that it just connected with her on such a level mm -hmm. so all this hate yeah. and suffering ignited this ultimate power god that Okay. Wow, I yeah. love the designs of the Titans and the freaking Founding Titan. The one that she had was weird with the ribs coming out. And, um, you know, that was very freaky. Yes. But seeing Aaron's and how he was even able to get the Founding Power, like that's never happened before. And here, you know, Aaron's monologuing. He's able to stop Ymir and Zeke's never been able to do that. He's like, don't even attempt to try it. And he actually stops Ymir and talks to her and, and says the things she wants to hear. So she has been looking for Aaron all and this time. And it opened time. up her eyes, literally. Yeah, and She's she actually needed help. to hear something like that. It's not her fault. You know, you need to you need to give it to me so I can help you. Yeah, because she was still a slave where it's like, you know, I, my power can only go to the royal bloodline. And, mm -hmm. you know, he's like, no, he's like, give it to me. I'm here to help you. I understand what you're going through. You got to open your eyes. He didn't say that, but you know what I mean? Yeah. And she did open her eyes and she really saw so that's very dangerous and here he's going to freaking destroy the world Woo! that's yeah. awful so everything Everybody. humans everything animals everything's going to be stomped out by these titans and the walls collapsing you know i know armin's narrating it for us because it is quite the shock um, but it's also showing that oh we're not going to have any fear anymore so these walls can come down I need the titans that are in the walls, first off, but I take it as that and, oh, well, there's not going to be a threat after this because in Aaron's eyes, I'm going to destroy everyone outside the walls so there'll be no threat and I'll be the one to take care of everyone, which is very dangerous as well. Exactly, exactly. And the the names of the walls are her children. Some Crazy. Of the, children. the first three the children, yeah. Yeah, so how long? So how, like insane is that to have like this long history where yeah. everything's just so tied together and now it well, makes sense you also... with the church group you know mm -hmm. that church yeah. there that so they knew the deep but you history. also you also see her like in that spirit world where she's creating all those colossal titans yeah mm -hmm. like how she saved right. zeke she sculpted zeke back now is mm -hmm. zeke dead you know, I mean, to be that close to the founding Titan, I mean, Aaron's massive. and Followers he, of Ymir, so... I don't, uh, I don't know, because he's still in that realm. Mm -hmm. He got you know, blown mentally. up. She'll yeah, I know. Yeah, because I feel like, you know, maybe she'll save him. But she agreed with Aaron there, so I think she's going to dismiss Zeke now. Maybe he'll be stuck there. Well, because if you heard Zeke, Zeke was going after the I'm part of the royal blood, you know. Yeah. And she's kind of pissed at the royal blood right now, so. <laughs> yeah, so she's not going to yeah. help him in any way. I really felt bad for Zeke too. Wow, I love uh, the twists in this, and reveals are just amazing. It's just like what? weren't they? I yeah. Just, it was so sad to see her life and see what happened to her. Mm -hmm. That was horrible absolutely horrible i can't even fathom it it's like so terrible um but it would make sense for her to trigger that immense power or to combine with it mm -hmm. um but to actually see the walls come down too and all these characters that we like you know um and like gabby historia everyone and all the walls are crashing down right. like who survived that you know thank mm -hmm. goodness mikasa and armin look okay but so many people you know probably were killed in that moment and um it was crazy to hear aaron like in everyone's head right like just well, yeah, ruling I mean, them in a way like right. just turning on the intercom but Attention. i mean he was in he was in everybody's head but was he in everybody's head who was an ally or was he like are they yes. all part of Ymir in some um, way yeah um anyone who was you know a father you know a father yeah he said Ymir. yeah because mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, well, anyone you had... who, who's a part of Ymir, anyone who comes from that, mm -hmm. you know, bloodline or whatever, can hear it. so even like Connie and all like that, because they showed LDNs. Connie too. Yeah, mm -hmm. like everyone that's at um, Wal Maria, you know, everyone inside that city, that's right, is uh, a subject of Ymir. Mm -hmm. You know, they're all of that bloodline, even though there's different sections and there's a royal bloodline, they're all part of that bloodline. Mm -hmm. yeah, the Eldians and the Marlies, so the Eldians are subjects of Ymir. 
That's right. You know. Wow, that's crazy. I know it. Yeah, and who knows and how many more are out there. So now, um, because here we discovered, I mean, Aaron knows so much now about the world, but still I feel like there's just so much more beyond what he's seen that you're going to be killing a lot of innocent people. And even in Marley, like, you know that a lot of people there are innocent. So mm -hmm. it just doesn't make it right. Not at all. And for, you know, even for King Fritz to say, you know, have as much as you want, have, you know, take every little bit and then have your grandchildren have the spinal fluid and, you know, keep continuous. So yes, you're going to have a lot of people be, you know, descendants of her. So they will survive, but there's going to be a lot of death getting to there. Okay. You know, there's going to be a lot of Eldians dying because of this whole, I mean, look at all the Titans are massive. Yeah. And her story took place, what, 2,000 years ago? Yeah. yeah. So the Jeez. title now, we can read it. It says, From You, 2,000 Years Ago. So it's like a letter, and it was um, Ymir actually reaching out to Aaron, mm -hmm. you know, for help. And, yep, so they helped each other. Man. Not good. Thanks. Yeah, this was good. Good episode, guys. Until it next was. time, thank you so much for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, you can check out the next episode on our Patreon in the links below. Mm -hmm. So until yes. next time, guys, happy holidays. Happy holidays. Bye. Bye. Bye.